<clears throat> I was going to try and do a day in the life video. So this is me. It is now 12 minutes past eight in the morning. I've just woken up. I got ready. I wouldn't want you to see me naked. So I thought I'd best get ready first. Um, I'm going to brush my teeth and then I'm going to walk down onto the site. Uh, try not to set an alarm if I can help it because I've read somewhere that if you do set an alarm it sort of disrupts your body and your brain and all that sort of thing so I like to just wake up when I wake up if a noise wakes me up then so be it but I try to just um, just not, not bother with an alarm and just let, let myself wake up when I want to wake up so the next shot will be, well, what do I do next? Probably go to the toilet, so I probably won't show you that. <laughs> but, yeah, it'll be something on, on the, along the lines of when I get to work. So I'll catch you in a bit. So this is the walk into work. Cleveland Cable have turned up, so there's more, more graft to do. I don't know what sort of sizes they are, but this is it, uh, League Street. So it's pretty dead this morning. Um, that's the door I need to go into. Don't know stand is. got painted yesterday. Pretty decent. Not bad. That is the best. I watched the guy paint it. Um, it was corn it was all cornered off and they had barriers and music and it was some sort of launch for something. I don't quite know what it is, but it is really good. He hasn't signed it though. Or has he? Is that his signature there? Let's see, got it. But yeah, unbelievable that. So this is the site entrance here. And then I'm going into work. First job of the day done. Earthen again. Oh, that's too dark. But that's this job finished now. Bit of earthen in there. But it's done. All finished. On to the next one now, which is downstairs. So I've got the cart, all of this shit down there. Nice. Now then, second job of the day in this room. Flop the 
door behind us. So what we've got is 16, they come from there, look. 16 single core 185s. And they, could, they drop into there, which is incredibly poorly lit. Let's see what we can do about that. So there. So the from, from there, down and in. Now I've already cut that rung out because there was no chance of them all fitting in one side of that. And then they drop into there. Now what the problem is I'm gonna have, <clears throat> which is a real pain, I'm gonna have to put the back ones on to those four. So there's two on each copper, two cores on each copper. So it's gonna have to go, <coughs> excuse me, the back one's in first, and then I'm gonna have to fit the next one's underneath, and the next one's underneath, and then the next, the, the final ones that go on the front, underneath. Whereas the last panel that I did, what I could do was put the first set in at the front, and the back came off, and I was able to, uh, I was able to put the back ones in at no hassle really, because I had a free access at the back, whereas this one is against the wall. So I don't have that option. Never mind. Anyway, I've just got those ones out the way. So they're the next, they're another job to do. It's three, four core two forties up over the top of that rack and then down and they come into this panel and they terminate at the bottom. So the terminations are relatively straightforward, but the gland is going to be a bit of a pig. I think that rung there is going to have to be removed because those cables are pretty stiff. And then there was some, they were a bit long, so I had to cut them down. So obviously there's all the, the rubbish and that's the, the inside. I have to throw that in the skip because that's rubbish as well. Hmm. And then there's two four call 185s that are going to come in follow the 240s across the rack there and then they drop into this side I don't know which one yet but one of those switches but I can't put those in until these this 16 are away so I know what room I've got on the rack whether they go at the back or they go at the front or whatever so this is today's, part of today's job. I'm gonna go for some food in a minute, which it's now 10 past 12. So I'm gonna go at about half 12, quarter to one to the street food people. And uh, we'll see what happens. Turn it around. We'll see what happens uh, on the other side of that. See if we can do one of them ghost things, watch. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. I'm better off doing it in low light, I think. We do, we should video this in the dark. I think that would work out better, wouldn't it? But yeah, that's part of today. Um, and then we'll, I'm gonna go to the gym tonight, I think. And I might even go for a beer. So we'll see what happens on that, pla on that uh, score. Go chicken, lamb, mixed kebab with halloumi in it. Real Greek food. All of the different things on Low Marsh. All the way around. And there we go, the finished article. Chicken, lamb sheesh. Halloumi. I've got chilli sauce on as well, which is absolute rocket fuel. Washed down with a nice, healthy Lucasade. Right, that's it for today now. There's six in, six terminated. Not that you can see because the lighting's terrible. Um, I'm going to toddle off now to the gym. 
rucksack on. Um, I need to go and hand the keys in first and then up to the gym and then I might even go for a pint. So there we go. Okay, back in the van, absolutely sweating and it's raining outside. Uh, I'm going to get ready now, get changed, go to the gym, have a shower and then go for a couple of beers. Uh, I think you see I'm out of breath, I've just had to walk uphill and carry my bag, which was rather heavy. Uh, so, gym, get a nice shower, I want to take some jeans out of me, and then I'm going to go for a couple of pints. I might go to a couple of different pubs uh, and see what's going on in the area tonight. Right, there we go, gym done. Now, well, I'm going for a well end pint. Well, there's the first pub done. King's Arms in Rupel Street. Um, had two pints in there. See you later, Pete. Two pints in there. And uh, off to find the next one now. This street has got like broken down old cars just hanging about. I walked through it the other week. Here they are now, look, they're like old Citroens. There was one there. I imagine that's broken down. And look at that. Look at that one. That is proper cool. Proper cool old Citroen. And then, I've never seen anything like that. I don't even know what it is. And then there's this one, like the fucking anthill mob or something. I think that's an old sitting as well. That must be, it must be, I don't know, 80 years old or something. Fantastic stuff. This is pub number two. Vaulty Towers in Lower Marsh. This has been my local since I've been working here. It's pretty decent, pretty decent pub. There's all sorts of stuff going on inside. I think it's in one of my other videos. So this is pint number three. garden it's raining I've got myself a little table I'm going to find a sat on the stool so I can have a smoke I forgot what the bloody pub's called now oh, the, the crown and cushion um, just at the top of lower marsh this is the third pub fourth pint sweet Looks like I'll need another. I'm just doing a bit of raining. I've got a canopy at the minute. I'm not walking anywhere. Yeah, to know from me, I'm glad I'm sat under this. There we go. That's sort of the end of the night. It's pissing down and I'm getting wet, but never mind. I'm walking back down Low Marsh. I'm going to go and get something to eat. Probably uh, Sarni from Sainsbury's. But yeah, had a few beers. Had a good night actually, it's been good. So I'm gonna go Sainsbury's now and then go back to the van and uh, that's been my day. That's been the day in the life of a cable jointer. What have we done? Got up, 
brushed our teeth, made no sense at all. Went to graft, had some dinner, and then went for a few beers, or went to the gym, and then went for a few beers. Tidy. So yeah, just walking down Low Marsh now, pissing down the rain. That looks pretty good that actually. Not a bad street. Not a bad place to be. Pretty safe, I imagine. I've never been uh, accosted. But yeah, that's alright. So I'm just gonna go and get uh, I don't know, I might treat myself to a bit of a a bit of a tapas or something. Get some chorizo and some cheese and some olives. Maybe. Oh, some crazy folks. But yeah, that's me. Finished today. Gonna get in the kip in a bit. In the back of the van. It's not cold. Still got a t-shirt on. So yeah, happy days. See you in a bit. Well, there we go, that's it. That's a day in the life of a cable joiner. I've got a bit of tea. I've got some Serrano ham. I've got some Emmental cheese, I've got some olives. Uh, I did buy a bacon sarni, which is cold, but obviously. What else have I got? Oh, I've got this. I'm not even sure what that is. It's got cheese, chorizo, and some like, is it like toast bits? So anyway, I wanna eat that. I've got a couple of beers in the van and that's me so there's been more or less a normal day really get up go to work have some street food go to the gym which i've only just started doing so that's not a normal thing for the last 10 years of my life but i've started going to the gym and then going for a beer which that has been a normal part of my life for the last 20 years. But yeah, I've enjoyed it. And the last pub I was in, the the cushion, or the crown and cushion, that was brilliant. Sat and met, like the local, like a, a pub in London that has locals, loved that. Sat and talked to them, and so much so, I liked it that much. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back in and have a crack on with Kenny and Ben and Giles and Alan. <laughs> Look at me. But yeah, it was it was really good. It was a really good boozer. And it was pretty cheap. It was pretty cheap. It was £4.90 a pint. <laughs> pretty cheap. But yeah, I've enjoyed myself today. And I'm glad I made this video from start to finish. Because it was only just a spur of the moment thing that I'd seen on YouTube the day before. I didn't even know these type of things existed. But yeah, I'm glad I've done it. So I'll see you when the next video and I'm probably grafting and sweating and doing something else. So thanks very much. If you've watched it all the way to this bit, thanks very much. I very, I, I much, I very much doubt most of you have, but if you did, Thank you very much, and uh, yeah, see you soon. So that's it. <clears throat> that's my day in the life as a cable jointer. Uh, tired now, it's about one o'clock in the morning now. I've come out the pub, I went and got something to eat. I ate that. I talked to somebody on the phone that I haven't spoke to since I was, well, not since I was at school, but 
a long time ago. And I'm going to go and meet up with him tomorrow with his daughter in uh, in London over near Shoreditch. So I'm going to go and do that tomorrow. But yeah, that's basically what I do on a on a average 24 hours. So I'm going to go to bed now because I'm knackered. Um, and I shall see you soon. But remember, do that like and subscribe if you, and tell your friends and all that sort of stuff. Because it's I'm trying. I'm aiming for a thousand subscribers and trying to get there trying to monetize it really to make some pennies out of it if it's only to buy some new tools which will that's what will end up happening i'll end up buying new tools so <laughs> that's what i'm looking for so yeah thanks for watching and like and subscribe it if you did if you don't you know tell me i'm shite but i'm going to bed because i'm knackered so thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one bye bye